What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lewis. I have not posted in probably, it's been probably two or three weeks. So I apologize for that. I have been traveling. I, by the way, I also apologize for this castaway situation that I'm giving you guys. Clearly it's a casual Thursday here at the household. I've been gone, I think I was gone for 12, 13 days. Then I came back, I had meetings, and I've been running around. So clearly I need to get my life together. But I wanted to make sure that I posted the October version of Sponsored, Not Sponsored. The holidays are approaching, and I think a lot of these brands and PR agencies are kind of ramping up their PR efforts. Um, you know, a lot of people are working on holiday gift guides and that kind of thing. So I've got some pretty cool stuff in the mail, and I wanted to show you guys. I will make this video shorter than last time. Thank you for the feedback. Uh, if you did not watch the last video, a few clarifications. The coolest part of that last video are the wine condoms. Can I just clarify, a lot of people, I, I did not realize this, but a lot of people and my friends thought that I meant wine flavored condoms. That is a whole other type of YouTube channel, <laughs> not this one. To clarify, it's condom shaped, um, basically wine stoppers. So when you don't finish your bottle of wine or even your bottle of beer, you can um, put the condom on top of the neck of the bottle that you didn't finish. Just to clarify, really cool stuff though, please check them out. Go to minute 15 or so of that last video, I'll link it somewhere up here, um, and check that out, because it's a really cool product. So, let's get into this one. Let's see, these are, uh, it's called Wild Crafted Collection. Um, I don't think that's the name of the company though. Oh, Unwrapped Life is the name of the company. So this is a shampoo conditioner bar. I'm usually not a fan of actual soap bars because of the residue and stuff that they leave. I'm not a fan. However, these come in a tin, which I'm about. That I can get behind. So I believe this is the shampoo. Ooh. Stand by. Ooh. Oh my God, it smells so damn good. Oh, so it looks like a little, let's see if I can get one of this. It looks like a little macaroon. So kids, don't eat this. Um, but. Oh my God, it smells amazing. So again, it's great because you travel with it and then you can use it and then put it in a tin and that way it doesn't get all sticky and like just gooey, which is kind of cool. So this is a conditioner, which is kind of cool. Uh, I excited to travel with these because um, I technically, I usually don't use the shampoo in the hotels. Um, so this is cool to be able to use this bar and then not let it get all over my, my other travel stuff. So I'm excited for that. So we have Lumify, these are redness reliever eye drops. I travel a lot and I often don't sleep when I travel, um, the day before I travel. So this is really good. It's basically like red eyes, um, sort of. Like it takes the red out of your eyes. Um, they're by Bosch and Long, and so I'm really excited to try these. I will put these in my travel box um, because I need that. Because I, I, again, I often have bloodshot eyes when I arrive somewhere and that's not attractive. Jesse Jim's skincare for men. So this is their purifying face wash and toner. I'm a fan, I've actually never worked with these guys. So I'm excited because I always am down to try new products. And oh, whoa. Oh, it smells so good. I can't even oh, describe it, but it smells really good. So I'm excited to check these guys out. Hopefully I can post about them in a future post. And then this is their detox face scrub. Um, I believe they have a some sort of eye cream situation as well. So hopefully I can check that out as well because again, I need as much help as I can with, oh, this is, I won't open it so it stays fresh, but this is the, this is the face scrub. So you guys can check it out. Hopefully that's in focus. I will still link all of this down uh, below in the description box, by the way. I received an email asking if I wanted, if I drink coffee. The answer is always. And then they said, have you ever tried single serve um, coffee bags? And I haven't, and so they sent some over so I can check them out. Really excited, so they're called Steeped Coffee. And they are basically these um, sort of, well not sort of, they're single bag coffee. So it's single serve uh, bag of Sunrise Blend. And you basically um, place filter in the cup and then gradually pour eight ounces of hot water and then you dunk the bag 15 seconds or so, and then you leave the bag in there and you can drink after five minutes. I'm excited. Um, again, this could be great for travel. I mean, you can get hot water pretty much anywhere, and so uh, instead of drinking crappy coffee, it could be great to carry these around. So I will take these on some of my trips. 
and let you guys know how it is. I'm excited about it. Let's so check it out. So that's that. Thank you guys. Um, again, I travel a lot. So plain air, it's surface and air purifying travel mist. Listen, we all share that foul air in, the, in a train or a, an airplane. And people are coughing and sneezing and doing all sorts of weird things. And then you have to suck in that air all day. So this is great. I'm usually not the one to wipe down my seat just because then the water, like the Clorox wipe, it just leaves your hand sticky. But this I can just spray. So I will literally hose down my seat and anybody around me. So please, if you're sitting next to me, you've been warned. Uh, but it's alcohol free, uh, natural sense. It says shake well. Maybe I can. Hold on, guys. This could be a. Oh, oh. Mmm, it smells um, not chemically, which is good. Is that a word? It smells good. So I'm excited to travel with this as well. I have a few trips coming up, so I will for sure take this with me. Oh, sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. So I'm excited. Um, Oars and Alps is um, a great brand. They have a great social media presence, so check them out. Um, this is their solid charcoal face wash. It smells good. And what I love about a solid face wash is that, again, you normally put the face wash on, wash your face, and then your hands are all sticky and full of goo. And so this, you just kind of rub on your face and then you can just rub um, or scrub accordingly, which is kind of nice. This is our deodorant. So this is a brand new one, yeah. So I actually have this in my travel bag as we speak. It is absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, I love it. So thank you for this again. And then this is their natural wake up. I stick with caffeine. Listen, these people know me with this, with all of this um, under eye situation because my bags are out of control. So I apologize. However, um, I'm excited to check them out. Um, again, add this to my travel bag because when I travel, the eyes get a beating. Uh, and then I arrive at the airport looking a hot mess um, to my next destination. Cocoa oil scent. A lot of their products over. Um, I'm excited. So I normally don't do a beach. Okay, I say I say that, but I've been on like six beaches this year. But I'm not. I'd rather do a city rather than a beach. However, um, I am excited to check their products out. Um, this is a body oil, um, body and beach oil SPF 15, um, cocoa oil SPF 30, after sun lime coconut oil. This could stand by. Oh, it smells like a, and I mean this in the best way possible, it smells like a lime popsicle. Um, oh, that smells good. And then this is their ocean spray, coconut, and sea salt, and their tanning oil. Um, I genuinely cannot wait to check out these products. Here's what I am gonna say. I'm going on a cruise, by the way, in a few months, so I will take their products. What I'm not gonna be using is tanning oil. Cocoa oil, I'm sure your stuff is great. However, the last time that I used cocoa, or tanning oil, was a sad situation. It was with my Cuban friend, Cafe con leche, Cuban friend, uh, fluff. And she, we were in Miami and she was like, oh, use, use tanning oil, it's amazing. Um, what's the worst that can happen? Says the Cuban girl with perfect skin. So she got this amazing caramel glow and my chubby ass burned. Like it was the worst burn. I was walking around like a jumbo shrimp. It was awful. So needless to say, I basically sat there and cooked myself on a beach in Miami. So I won't be doing that again. Um, however, I do want to check out their products and maybe use them a lot smarter this time because that was a bad situation. So thank you so much for sending these over. Uh, the last one, so Peak Design, um, they, they reached out and they were asking just about, you know, kind of what I'm working on and what posts I'm working on. Um, and I told them that I had some really cool trips coming up and they sent over some really cool bags, which I'm pumped about. So this is their 65 liter duffel bag. So I believe this, and then it just obviously, um, once you fill it up, it just drops down. It lo almost looks like a backpack, um, but I'm excited because I am taking some trips in the next few months, and so I wanna check these out and give you guys a proper review on them. Sort of like how they travel and um, how strong the zippers are and the pockets and that kind of thing, and then this is uh, their, I believe their 35 liter bag um, duffel. So it's a lot smaller. So this would probably be more carry-on. That is a check bag, um, but I'm excited to check these guys out. So a lot of travel stuff, which is exciting because I travel a lot. So between the eye drops and the, um, is the plane, the plane air, uh, and then these peak design bags, I think 
I'm gonna have some cool stuff to travel with, so I'm excited about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. Um, notification situation, click it. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram, check out the blog, and hopefully uh, I will be able to post another one of these in November, right before the holiday gift guide. So thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.